What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about three practical strategies that you can apply to your business to start making more money in 2022, right? It's the end of December. Right now, a lot of us are reflecting on our wins, on some areas that we could have improved in 2021. And now we're also looking at 2022 and really what type of goals and vision we can set out so that we can have the most successful year ever. And so in this video, I'm gonna keep it a little bit shorter and really just dive into some practical ways that you can go out and start making more money. And so the first way to start making more money in your business right now is by creating new products for your existing customers. See, when it comes to making more money, there's really only two ways that you can make money. You can either find more customers and sell more products and services, or you can sell more products and services to your existing customer base. And so, a statistics that I'd like to, to share with you that most people probably don't know about is that it's five to 25 times more expensive to go out and acquire new business than it is to retain current customers, right? Because you have to pay for advertising costs, marketing, right? A marketer, there's tons of different expenses that come from actually going out and finding new business. And something most people don't realize is that when you already have an existing customer base, these people already know, like, and trust you, right? They've already taken their credit card out and they've paid, meaning that there's a relationship there, you've already built rapport, there's a sense of trust. And so the reality is, is that regardless of what business or, or industry that you're in, your customers are always gonna have more problems, right? And so because of the fact that you already understand that audience very, very well and you've already served them, you can go out and create new products and services and sell to that existing customer base. You're not gonna pay a cost per acquisition, right? Because they've already paid to, to, to work with you, right? There's no advertising costs there, so you're saving money there. And number two, um, you know, the conversion rates with these types of transactions are gonna be way higher, again, because you've already built rapport and they already trust you. So look at your current customer base, right? You may have, you know, tens of clients, you may have hundreds of clients, you may have thousands of clients if you're an e-commerce business, right? And so look at that customer base and identify what are some complementary services or products that I can create that would help them make more money, that would allow them to increase their business. So for an example, if you are a design service and you want to you know, help your customers who you provide graphic design services for, a complimentary service that you can look to build is perhaps copywriting, right? Because anybody who needs design typically also needs copywriting. And so that could be a great complimentary service that you provide. And so again, depending on what industry or niche you're in, what type of customer base you have, there are probably a lot of different types of complimentary services you can provide. One being, let's say you can create a mini course, you can create sort of like a, a shoulder add-on list of services. You know, you could run a challenge. These could be eBooks or guides. Um, you know, you could provide some sort of group coaching or private one-on-one -on -one coaching, or you could even look at doing some sort of joint venture or referral deal with somebody who maybe offers some type of complimentary service that you have in your network. So first way to make more money is by selling more products and services to your already existing customer base. The second way to make more money in 2022 is to identify one advertising channel and to just drill that until the well runs dry. And so what do I mean by that? So look at the way that you've been advertising in 2021 and look at creating potentially a new advertising channel. So a couple advertising channels that work really well is you know if you're focusing on organic, doing a video DM strategy where you're finding people who look like your prospective target audience and you're sending them a personalized video DM as your outbound outreach message, that tends to have a way higher response rate and it ends up allowing you to on the back end, convert a lot more people versus just sending a cold DM of just plain text. So a video DM outreach strategy works really, really well. Uh, second way is through a personalized Loom video. So you're going in and you're either recording a custom Loom video over their website or perhaps um, just over their social media profile and sort of you know picking some stuff apart, adding value, talking about some of the pain points, and then you know a quick pitch 
to potentially you know, hop on a phone call or watch a VSL. So Loom Video and Video DM are really great for, uh, for organic. Now, some other uh, ways that you can look at breaking into you know, prospecting new clients is if you're doing paid ads, right? So Facebook and Instagram ads are a great way to start. Um, some, a couple other options would be Google ads, pay-per-click, or YouTube ads. YouTube ads has a really robust um, targeting strategy where you can, for example, target people who watch specific types of videos or specific types of channels. You can you know, target by keyword, people who visited specific websites or your competitor website. So YouTube could be a great strategy, although YouTube does have a bit of a, a learning curve up front. Um, and you should expect to pay a little bit more money when it comes to testing rather than, you know, compared to Facebook and Instagram. And another emerging platform that seems to be doing really well for certain niches is TikTok ads. So that might be something you want to look into as well. And then last but not least, the third and final way that we're going to talk about making more money in 2022 is really by specializing and doubling down on your brand, right? Understand that the marketplace today is different than it was in 2010. Every day, every week, every month that goes by, every niche is becoming more competitive. Where in 2010, if you were a fitness influencer, you could rise to the top within six to 12 months of putting out consistent content. In today's world, there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of fitness influencers. So to be able to stand out from the crowd, you have to be able to truly specialize and double down on your brand, right? People are gonna wanna you know, know why they should choose you and work with you over the hundreds or thousands of other options that exist. And the way that you do that is through your brand. And so what are some practical ways to really different, differentiate yourself? Number one, through your brand, create videos and content that's really based around value and transformation. Another way is to really amplify and create videos and content around the current pain points that your customers have. And then thirdly, what I mean by specialize is that, you know, think about specializing as look at your niche and then identify what's like a sub niche within that sub niche, right? So for example, um, we have a client inside Wake Up Wealthy who has a cleaning business. And so one of the ways that he's gone out and is beginning to differentiate himself and really just stand out from all the hundreds of other cleaning services out there is that he's a cleaning service that specializes in working with real estate agents for new homes and homes that are getting ready to be sold, right? And so he's going out and instead of just prospecting and, and just kind of like a blanket a uh, marketing strategy where he is telling everybody in the world that he has a cleaning business. He's specifically going after real estate agents, realtors, real estate investors who are actively, you know, moving homes, selling homes, meeting with prospective buyers and sellers and, you know, basically working exclusively with them. And so this is an example of niching down and specializing within a larger category. And so if you're a fitness influencer, right, maybe that means that, you know, you work with a very specific type of client. Um, and so, you know, we could spend hours looking at what all those, what all those, you know, niching strategies would be, but start to think about that. How are you going to differentiate yourself through your brand in 2022? And so, Without a doubt, if you follow all of these steps, if you dial in with your brand and you get super specific, if you find a new outreach strategy and you, you just drill down super deep on that, um, and then last but not least, if you go out and um, you know look at your existing product base and start to create more products for them, without a doubt, you're gonna be able to make more money in 2022. Hope that video helps and we'll see you in the next one.